Alright, 3.3 is sort of a special review, so we're going to review logarithms and we're going to keep it fairly basic. Uh, what we want to get to is we want to get to applications, which allows us to solve um, our exponential growth and decay applications for time. And then they want us to talk about two special types of uh, applications of logarithms and exponentials that go together call with, that have to do with earthquakes and, and sound. Alright, and they want to get to those in, that, in order to do that. It requires you to review a little bit. Again, we're not going to go into great detail of logarithms. We're going to keep them fairly basic um, in this class, and we're only going to look at the, the common base. All right, so what is a logarithm? For all you need to know, it's a logarithm is a special function that was created, and it was. It was created to be the inverse <clears throat> of an exponential function. That's its whole, whole purpose in life is to be that. All right, that's its entire reason for existence. And so what the logarithm allows us to do, the reason why it was created, it was created to reverse the exponential function so that we can then use the logarithm to solve for the exponentials. Otherwise, there is no algebraic way to solve for an exponent without creating these logarithms that allow to do it. So that's what the logarithm is, a special function that allows us to do that. Again, we're going to keep it fairly basic, so... Um, Again, it means reversing, so I'm going to use the base 10 because base 10 is what we're going to be doing in this entire section. Base 10 means the 10 is the base of my exponential, and so the 10 is the base of my logarithm because they're related, all right? They're inverses. The base 10 exponential is the inverse of the base 10 log, and so what they do is they, they literally flip what the x and the y represent, all right? So if you look at the table here, this is the base 10 exponential. Right, y equals 10 raised to the exponent x. And so I filled out a table for the first five values of the exponent. Again, it's an exponential growth, so it grows really fast, right? When I plug 0 into this equation, we get 1 out. When I plug 5 into that equation, that's 10 to the 5th, right? That's what this represents, 10 to the 5th, which is 100,000. And then everything in between, right? 1 is 10 to the 1st, which is 10. 2 is 10 squared, which is 100. 3 is 10 cubed, right? So this is 10 to the 0, 10 to the 1st, 10 squared, 10 cubed, 10 to the 4th, and 10 to the 5th. All right, those are the y values that come out. All right, so again, what you do when you do a logarithm, and a logarithm that's just written log, and all, all your scientific calculators should have a log key, the L-O-G key. The log key means base 10. That's what the log key means. It means... This is true if x equals 10 raised to the y. That's what it means. So we've taken the exponential equation and flipped the x and the y, switched places of the x and the y. So this allows for us to solve for the x. The x is this exponent. That's what the x uh, represents. I'm sorry, the x is not the exponent. The allows us to solve for the exponent, right? This is what the, the y represents the exponent. y is the exponent. x is the exponent in the original. We flipped it. y is the exponential, the exponent in the logarithm. All right, so again, what these represent is you'll notice we flipped these two around, right? We flipped this around. This represents the exponent now. y is the exponent x is what's coming out when I take my base and raise it to the exponent. It's still base 10. So y is the 0, so this is 10 to the 0, this is 10 to the 1st, 10 squared, 10 cubed, 10 to the 4th, and 10 to the 5th. All right, so that's what a logarithm does. A logarithm takes our original exponential function and flips, that's what an inverse does. You take your x and your y and you flip it to get a new function where x and y are interchanged, swapped out. All right, so our base 10 is what we're gonna deal with. So again, a logarithm base 10 is what's called the common logarithm. It is the logarithm on your calculator. So y equals log base 10 of x if and only if x equals 10 raised to the y. So y is the exponent. So this solved for the exponent. 
Which is what I was trying to say earlier when I got tongue-tied. Which is what the, again, that's the entire purpose of that because suppose I have an equation, 2 equals 5 raised to the x. Well, how do I solve for that x? Again, that's what we want to get to. How do I solve for x? The exponent, well, we're going to use a logarithm. That's the whole purpose of a logarithm is to solve for the x. And actually, that's going to be the next rule that we look for. All right, so again, the reason logarithms were brought into existence was to do this, was to solve algebraic expressions for the, the exponent part. All right, just to practice, though, our logarithm expression. So again, all of these you can plug into the calculator. You can check it on the calculator. If you take your log on your calculator, this is log base 10 when it's just written as a log. So take log, type it out of your calculator of 10,000. Right, it should give you an answer, and it should give you 4. Again, what that 4 represented was 10 raised to the 4th equals that 10,000, and that's true. Right? If I take 10 to the 4th, it's going to give me 10,000. Take log of 0.1. Well, that should give you out negative 1. And this one's a little trickier because we don't talk about negative numbers, but what it means, it is means 10 raised to the negative 1. If you take 10 raised to the exponent negative 1, it does come out 0 0.1. Alright, the next two aren't going to come out pretty, so these are going to come out ugly numbers. We are going to round. This uh, log of 755 5 comes out 2877. 7. And so to check it, it's going to come out not as nice. You have to do round, so you take 10 raised to the 2.8 uh, 7, 8, sorry, it was, should have been a 7, 8. It's approximately, we will have to round because we did round here, 7, 5, 5. The same thing with the bigger number we get, the, the worse our approximate answers are. So log of 24,800 comes out 4.394, 4.394. Again, if we have take 10 raised to the 4.394, because there was significant rounding, this actually comes out. 24774, which if I round to the hundreds place, it does round correctly. Alright, if I round there, then it does round. So again, there is rounding error in these types of functions when we do our checking. Like I said, in this, there are other bases, and if you've taken a, an algebra class, they talk about the other bases. We are going to stick to the base 10 because all scientific calculators have the base 10. And it's the most common base anyway because the metric system works in base 10. Right, so the rule we're going to use, right, right, remember the goal was to solve for the exponent, right? That's the whole purpose of a logarithm is the logarithm solves for the exponent. That's what it's solving. That's what these numbers are coming out to be, right? It's the exponent on my 10. Right, that's the exponent. And so we use that to solve. And the rule to solve an exponential function for the exponent, so we want to solve for the, the t. So if we have an exponential equation, some a equals some b raised to the t, the rule is it's the log of a divided by the, and you do have to do that separately. You can't write that as one log. It does not ever equal log of a over b. That's a completely different solution. It has to be the log of A divided by, separately, the log of B. The reason why it comes from, if you remember your algebra, is we would take our equation A equals B to the T. We take the log of both sides. So we take the log of A, and whatever I do to one side, I have to do to the other side. And then the exponential rule is I can pull this T out front and multiply by it. So we get the log of A equals T, the exponent, times the log of B. And then I get rid of the divide, or I get rid of the times the log of b by dividing it out. And so this is why you have to divide by b. You cannot write that any other way. So that is exactly what t equals: log of a divided by log of b. A is the side it's equal to. B is the side with the base. All right. So if it was that one I had earlier, 2 equals 5 to the t. You solve that by taking the log of 2 divided by the log of 5. That's what t equals. And then you can type that out on your calculator. You do have to type out log of 2 divided by log of 5. Exactly. And it comes out 
4-3-0-6-7. So again, it comes out an approximate number. Um, so if you wanted to check it, it should be close. Now again, because you're, you're doing some rounding, it's not exact. So 5 raised to the 0 .43067 comes out to 1.99999. So it's a pretty good approximation. It rounds to 2 All right, when you're trying to check these. All right, but you have to type it in log 2 divided by log 2. So there should be two types in of log when you do this. Alright, so we'll practice this in the, the next video.